my uh, my precarious let's balance the tablet with the bananas thing is my plane is failing me. <laughs> okay, so, so let's do this. Oh jeez, what a morning, man! I had this whole thing planned out that I was gonna do. Um, not this video. I was gonna do another video, and it may or may not happen. I'm I really hope it does because I'm super stoked. Um, that's about all I'm gonna say. I did talk a little bit to Kenneth Brown last night on Facebook. I kind of hinted towards something I was going to do. I don't know if he cares. He may not even be awake yet. But anyway, let's do this instead. Um, I got this package in the mail today. Super stoked. But my boss just called me. Or he didn't just call me. He woke me up. Like I'm going to say 8.30. And that sounds, I'm sure, not too early for a lot of people. But... When you're at work until like 1 and you're awake till 3, 8.30 is a little early. So, today was supposed to be my day off. They might reschedule me. I sh might have to go in. I, yeah, see, this is so stupid. I might have to go in today. I don't know. They're not going to tell me until like noon. Well, thanks, man. So, <laughs> ordinarily I would be stoked. And I am stoked about this. I'm just kind of bummed out. Not bummed out. I'm pissed. But whatever. Let's just get to this. Last week, went to the shop. Not last week. A couple days ago, went to the shop where I have my uh, my polo stats. And then we went to the independent comic shop a couple blocks away, like the mom pop place that I used to go to all the time. But they got a little pushy. And uh, found a bunch of stuff. But out of my box, I got We Stand on Guard, issue 6. And Trees... Number 13. I'm a little behind on trees. I'm missing an issue, and I don't want to... I mean, this isn't really... Trees, I'm sure you could probably miss an issue, because it, it doesn't... It's not linear. The story bounces around a lot, but I don't want to miss anything. I hope that makes sense. There's there's a couple issues of trees where it's about... Usually it's a, it's one person what dealing with this event, and then there's this one person, and then... Da, 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 da. It's not really an all-encompassing kind of thing. It's like a uh, microscopic view of how this event... You guys don't know. These big alien spaceship things landed on Earth. They look like trees, and they just sit there. They don't even acknowledge. So that's kind of the premise of this book. There's, there's uh, people dealing with stuff. You know, it's all... I don't know, there's some political intrigue and... It's cool. I dig it. Warren Ellis. And from what I hear, way better than his James Bond. I've had like two cups of coffee. My mood, my mood is improving. So, yeah. The rest of these books I got at the the, uh, the Mom Pa comic place. Some of these were in the 50 cent bins. They don't always have 50 cent bins, but when they do, it's usually... They just have too many copies of something, so they just throw it in the 50 cent bin. But every once in a while, you do get some treasures, like eight adolescent radioactive black belt hamsters, book number three. I picked some of these up, like forever ago, just because I thought the title was ridiculous. And I don't have three, and these books are in great shape, and it was fifty cents. And radioactive uh, adolescent radioactive black belt hamsters, number two. Um, can't say I really dug the art in this one. It was kind of, it's like this, but black and white. Very R. Crumpy, and I don't have a problem with R. Crump, but for this, I didn't really think it fit. Excuse me. This is Kid Eternity number one. I don't know if this is a reprint or not. I don't remember the the, uh, the thing being gold on the cover, but it is what it is. This is some Sean Phillips stuff. Super cool. I picked up Harold County number eight. Uh, I did a chat last week with J. Rocks and Sleepy Reader 1717 and this was discussed a little bit, so I went and I found the issues that I could. That was eight. This was seven and six. Excuse me, and it's written by my my bud uh, Colin Bunn, which is super cool, and I enjoyed it. I'm gonna track down the rest of those. It's pretty good. It's really good. The art takes a little bit to get used to. This is, and Gore Vidal had shown this off in one of his videos, and I'm a huge Sean Murphy fan, so I pulled the bullet on, or, yeah, pulled the trigger on this. 
This is uh, City of Demons. It's a Hellraiser miniseries. This is number five. And the girl that works at the, the Ma and Pa shop is a huge Sean Murphy fan. And she almost didn't want to sell me these because she didn't realize she had them. And they were less than cover, so that's cool. That was five. And this is four. Super cool. And this is always very, this was really, really good too. Um, there's a little violence and some nudity in this. And, you know, Sean Murphy doesn't have a problem doing violence, but it was, I, I really, really, really enjoyed this. He needs to do his own book. We need to get him, not like a sequel to Punk Rock Jesus, but he needs to do his own book. This is Sandman 54. I don't pick up a lot of Sandman, but I uh, have been on my, my, uh, my, Mark, my, my, Jesus, Mike Allred kick lately. Um, so it's like all things Mike Allred and Mike Allred did the interiors on this. That's probably my boss. Hold on. Right. Anyway, I should swipe that and keep going. Yeah. So let's just get to this. There goes my mood again. This one's always whatever. Paper Girls number three. Cool. Brian K. Vaughn, Cliff Chang. Everybody either loves it or hates it. It's pretty good. Um, I like it, but it's not like. If you read like why. The Last Man. It wasn't as like cliff hanger e as this is. This is this is more like the writing style he uses in Saga, where it's you know resolution, then new conflict, and then build up, and then cliffhanger. And it's okay for what it is. It kind of adds to like the campy '80s feel. This is Jim Henson, the Storytellers, one of four dragons. This was really cool. It's like a Native American folklore kind of story. It's pretty neat. My lady grabbed it, so this might end up in her box. We'll do these in order. This is Monstrous number one. I heard a lot of people talking about this, and it was cover, so why not? This is a big, fat, thick book. It's like 64 pages or something. This thing's huge. And for $5, that's a lot of bang for your buck. I mean, this is in silver age bag. Because... Front bags don't we stop it? Jeez. Anyway, monstrous number one. Um, what was I saying? It was good. The art in the inside was kind of uh, manga esque, and that was okay. The story is interesting. Um, I don't see it being like an ongoing kind of thing. It seems like there, there is a resolution. I don't know. They might be able to stretch it out ongoing. These covers are gorgeous, though. And number two. Cool beans. Yeah, this kind of seems like the kind of thing where everybody's going to end up dying. Because that's how that works. Let's get to this bad boy. Okay, before I get too excited, some backstory. I've been looking for this book for years. And it's usually super pricey. Excuse me, because the people that sell them, and I've never seen it in the wild, this is something I've kind of dele relegated myself to having to pick up exclusively off of eBay, um, they, they either know what it is, like they're fans, which is why they bought the book in the first place, so they hike up the price, you know what I'm saying, because it is what it is, or, I don't know, it's weird, but this guy... He put it on eBay, I watched, for the week or whatever it ran, and nobody bid on it. Then he relisted it, nobody bid on it. Then he relisted it, and nobody bid on it. So I was like, okay, cool, we'll do this. We'll throw out some cash at this. Um, he was asking a third of what the book usually goes for on eBay. The pictures looked good. His rating was good. His feedback was good. He's sent me like seven messages on eBay since I made the purchase. So all that communication stuff is awesome. And it came in, you know, the corners. Looks good. We're all good. Let's go. So 
we got this, and then we got the is it somebody who actually knows how to package a comic book. I got Creatures of the Id, number one. That's so cool. This is the first appearance of Madman. Low print run, caliber press, way back in the day. That's so cool. Let's open this up real quick. There he is. Yay. Cool. Wrap around cover. Super cool. Alright. That's it. So I guess this other thing isn't happening. Because I have to go to work on my day off. Whatever. Alright. You guys are awesome. Thanks for watching. See you later.